Hi folks, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. So when we want to have an LLM perform some kind of a reasoning task, we know that the chain of thought prompting pattern works pretty well. And the paper we're looking at today is a neat little improvement on that pattern. Just as a recap, the basic idea of chain of thought prompting is to ask an LLM to generate a series of steps to solve a problem rather than asking it to solve a problem outright. You'll typically see this reflected with the phrase, let's think step by step in the prompt. And it has been found that when you use that pattern, you get much better performance on reasoning and arithmetic and problem solving tasks. The basic idea in this paper is pretty simple. The authors are proposing that instead of looking at just one chain of thought generation from the LLM. We generate multiple chains of thought and aggregate to get the final answer. Essentially, you want to choose the most consistent answer in the final set. The intuition behind it is similar to when humans solve a problem and multiple people come to the same answer but follow different paths to it. You have more confidence that the answer is correct. The authors call this technique self-consistency. You can see an example of this technique in this diagram where we have a few short prompt setting up an arithmetic reasoning kind of problem and we sample a number of answers from the LLM, two of which are correct, but they arrive at that answer via slightly different chains of arithmetic, and then one of them is wrong. And from these, we can derive that 18 is indeed the correct answer. The big advantage of this technique is that, very much like chain of thought, it's a very simple approach. It does not need you to fine tune or do any kind of additional training on the LLM. It's completely unsupervised. Let's look at how they performed some of the benchmarking. They look at a number of different LLMs, GPT-3, Lambda, Palm, and the mechanism via which they get a diversity of answers is by setting the temperature parameter, which controls how deterministic the answers produced by the LLM are. It's a parameter that controls the randomness, so to speak, of the generated answers. If temperature is zero, then you'll get the same answer for the same prompt every single time. But if temperature is greater than zero, you might get different answers for the same prompt. And they try it on a bunch of well-known reasoning benchmarks, things like math word problems, or question and answers, or symbolic reasoning tasks, and so on. And what they find is that across the board on all these benchmarks, they get a pretty noticeable improvement in accuracy compared to the simple greedy approach, which is just doing chain of thought with one generation. Especially on arithmetic, you can see that the accuracy goes from about 95% to greater than 99.3%. This table shows some similar results for the different LLMs. And here in the brackets, you can see the difference that the self-consistency method made. Plus 12.5%, plus 18%. So across the board, you can see that using this sampling approach from multiple generations is improving accuracy by a decent amount. Now you might ask, well, how many samples do I need the LLM to generate before I see some improvement in accuracy? And that's what they are trying to show in these graphs here. The x-axis is the number of samples taken, and the y-axis is the accuracy on various benchmarks. And you can see that after about 10 samples, the gains in accuracy level off. The other question to ask is, how does the temperature setting affect these results? And it seems to be pretty robust across a range of temperature values. These are curves for different values of temperature. And you can see they all more or less show the same thing, which is that 
accuracy increases as you increase the number of samples but it does level off for larger numbers of samples of course the price we pay for this is computational cost because we're generating many more samples out of the llm but it might be worth it if you're going for that extra bump in accuracy so that was a quick look at a paper which presents a nice, simple to understand tweak that improves the accuracy of chain of thought prompting with LLMs. If you like content like this, please subscribe, consider liking the video, and I will see you all next time. Thank you very much.